Here's the B and K test pattern generator. I've got all new electrolytic caps in it. There's two here. And there are four oops, there's four caps here. I just mounted those to a terminal strip along with the resistors. And I put in a new 1N4007 diode. I've got this hooked up to the Zenith Color TV so we can check the uh, performance of it. Let me plug it in here. Put the power on. And it looks like we've now got the dots. That hum bar is just due to the camera. It's not present in the actual um, in the actual image on the TV. Now there are the uh, the crosshatch patterns. For some reason, it looks like there's a little bit of a ghost image next to the main lines. I tried the adjustments on this but I couldn't get rid of the ghost image there. But that's not too bad. That, that should give me a, a pretty decent pattern for convergence. And then it's got horizontal lines, vertical lines, and color bars. You can adjust the, uh, here's the chroma amplitude control. And it must use a, uh, it must use some kind of a, or at least I think it may use a, a, a divider system where this tube here is the master oscillator controlled by this crystal. And then the pulses just get divided as they go down the chain of these triode tubes. This board here is the RF modulator board. And it outputs on uh, channel 3. There's the color bars. If I change the color amplitude, it'll go away. And there's a little little camera artifact on there, that bar. I'll have to see if I can set the shutter speed on the camera, if I can change that. Because all that moiré effect and that bar is not really there. So there's the B&K test pattern generator. Uh, it does come with a with a case here, so I'll put it back in its case.